Meanwhile, India's Desi GPS or the Indian Regional Satellite Navigation System set up by ISRO added a massive upgrade by linking the system to the atomic clocks of the Indian Standard Time. This will aid uh, razor sharp and precious guidance of missiles and help maintain cybersecurity. India's high profile science ministers oversaw the development. NETV's science editor Pallav Bagla gives you the details. India's Desi GPS or Navic system got a fresh fillip as the seven satellite constellation was linked to the ground-based atomic clocks of the Indian Standard Time System. ISRO and India's premier timekeeper, the National Physical Laboratory, inked the deal to share the data. Timing is very important from the point of view of crime detection, from the time of view of launching of the satellites, so many other things. Even the fraction of a second makes a difference, but it's very difficult to detect that. So when we have this... Uh, privilege of Navic synchronized Indian Standard Time. Not only we would have an advantage in those areas which are now going to be of concern in the times to come, whether it is cyber crime, whether it is other things. The Indian satellite system was still not dependent on the American GPS for its time synchronization. Linking to India's own atomic clocks will improve its accuracy and reduce foreign dependence and increase cyber security, the scientists say. This atomic clock is the one which will not falter, which will falter, maybe falter for a fraction of a second after billions of years. A trillionth part of a second is necessary for such sophisticated things as launching satellites, tracing the, uh, you know, the, the movement of missiles across continents, and also in terms of cyber security. Within a fraction of a second, thousands of email messages and digital messages cross the continents. This is the clock which sets India's time. Today, ISRO and India's Desi GPS will get linked to this clock, giving it six order more accurate information. With camera person Girish in the National Physical Laboratory of India in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.